hello and welcome everyone so in this video we are going to see how you can utilize the help feature of shodan in case you want to know whatever options you can use to get better results out of shodan but the first thing that you should keep in your mind when you install the shodan the cli version is you need to set up your api token if you do not set up your api token then you will not be able to search using the shodan cli which is the command line interface which we have recently installed into our terminal so you can use the command shodan init which is initialize and your api key so let us see how can we do it for that you have to go to the website and then you have to create an account over here I have already created an account and I am logged in into my account. Once you log in into your account, you can see API key over here. So this is the API key which you have to use into the terminal so that you can start using Shodan. Without the API key, as I already mentioned, you will not be able to do the search queries and will not be able to use the search filters. So when you sign up on this particular website as a free account, you get 100 credits on this particular account. In case you want to purchase, you can also purchase. When you purchase Shodan at that time, you can use advanced search queries and filters to enrich your results. But for now, we are going to use a free account because we will get enough of, enough of information from the free account as well. So once you have logged in into your account, just copy this particular API key, go back to your terminal and you have to type the command which is shodan initialize the API key that we have got from the dashboard. So once you hit enter, you can see the API key is successfully initialized, which means now our Shodan CLI is ready to do the search queries. So now you can also read the documentation by typing Shodan hyphen H and you can see all the commands that we will be using for doing the search queries and to get better results. 